Good evening and welcome back to Sports Talk ATL. I am Chase Earl, joined by Alex Lord. Last night, the Braves won winners. Of, is it five of six or four or five? They won two to one. The offense has kind of gone a little bit dormant against a couple of pitchers that aren't great. You'd like to see them continue that success. Now they got Scooball today, who's one of the best pitchers in baseball that maybe a lot of people haven't heard of. He might be the best pitcher in baseball right now, one of the front runners for the AL Cy Young Award. So I don't expect them to wake up too much, but who knows? Baseball is a weird sport. But the story of last night was Spencer Schwellenbach, man, coming off that start against the Orioles, a very good Orioles team, best start of his MLB career, short MLB career, Follows it up with a really good start against the worst Tigers team. But, the, but, but when you're this young, it doesn't matter who you're pitching. Every every game is a challenge. Fantastic. Six innings, three hits. Did have a couple of hit by pitches, but really not a lot of trouble outside of a Riley Green triple, which led to the one run. Seven strikeouts and complete command. Poise on the mound. Looks like the Braves might have finally found that fifth starter we've been looking for. Yeah, the trouble that you mentioned, that triple, uh, you know, in terms of limiting the damage, that's one thing, like, in particular that I always look at. Uh, and when you look at this Braves staff, Max, nobody does it better than Max Freed. Uh, and, and Schwellenbach took that step where he, is, he did limit the damage to just one run, preserved the win or the save opportunity. Uh, and it was awesome. He has the five-pitch mix is working. I mean, he's got all the stuff to be a frontline guy, not just obviously these four starts. It's all it's been. But, you know, and all we're looking for is solidifying the back end of the rotation. But in terms of projectability, the kid's got the stuff, uh, all the stuff to be a frontline guy. And that's what Braves fans are all going to be talking about right now. But right now, I mean, all we need him to be is every fifth day, just go out and give us a chance, uh, especially with this offense that has woken up a little bit for but most of the season. It's been dormant. Um Pretty exciting stuff, and I still expect the Braves to be in a six-man rotation because, again, it's not about the fifth spot. Uh, it's about those three horses at the front that kind of keep them fresh. Uh, but Swellenbach has deserved more of a leash than he already got after that first outing and even the second outing we were kind of discussing it. And I was like, you just got to throw him out there because the Braves don't have that luxury of, like, multiple guys banging on the door to be like, I deserve this shot, I deserve this shot. Now they kind of do with Bryce Elder turning – turning in some good outings in Gwinnett, but it just always felt like Schwellenbach deserved a little bit of leash. And now, I mean, you, you got to give me th two, three bad starts before I even think about sending you back down. I mean, it's really encouraging stuff. Yeah. And I, to be frank, I don't think you're going to see two, three bad starts because I think the most impressive thing of Schwellenbach to this point has been that poise. I mean, even dating back, and I remember this very vividly and then his MLB debut, uh, Adam Duvall had a, a single, went under his glove, it turned into a triple. It wasn't really a triple. It was a single with an air. A runner on third, nobody else. He gets out of that jam. That first start was actually really impressive for an MLB debut against the Nationals team that crushed the rest of this Braves pitching staff. It was really just one mistake to Lane Thomas that ended up in a three-run homer, and maybe Brian Snicker should have pulled him before that. But overall, that was a good start. The only start where he really got hit was against Boston, and then he really came back. That's probably a start where he had a little more pressure. He knows, hey, I got I got to show this team something if I want to stay up here. And he's facing an Orioles lineup that might be the best in baseball. And he pitches unbelievably. Then he gets his first win yesterday where he pitches unbelievable. Yeah, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't get three, four, five more starts. And I think he will become a staple of this rotation. I don't know about frontline starter potential in the future. I'm not going to talk about all that. But he's got – I mean, he's got great stuff. He's got great stuff. Uh, and listen, remember what Dana Brown said, who is, who's now the GM of the Astros, head of scouting for the Braves, who, who's one of the best when it terms of eye for talent because it's very hard to find – guys at 18, 19 years old that, that project to the majors and end up becoming stars, especially this quick. He said Spencer Schwellenbach might have been his favorite draft pick. So when a guy like Dana Brown is saying like that means something, that means something. And now you're starting to see why. And more than anything, when you watch Hurston Waldrop and you watch Spencer Schwellenbach, yeah. it's, it's night and day. He yeah. doesn't hurt himself with with mistakes. He doesn't flinch under pressure. The poise for such a young pitcher is just incredible. And I think that's the thing that stands out. It's the thing that I talked about with I, I talked about control a lot, but it's really the poise on the mound that he shows that that is going to keep him in Atlanta, maybe here for the next six, seven years. Hopefully he stays healthy. He's pitching well and, and he never has to go back. We'll see what they do about an innings limit because he hasn't pitched a lot. He did have Tommy John surgery. I don't think he's ever pitched more than 100 innings. So they're probably going to take things conservatively. But he's here to stay. I believe he is here to stay long term. Yeah, absolutely. You'd be a fool to suggest otherwise. And, you know, that just goes back to the six-man rotation thing I keep saying. 
the, the, there's no reason for the Braves, and and this goes more to I guess Braves fans more than the Braves because they Alex Anthopoulos already said it. But after I said it, believe it or not, that you know basically the goal isn't to find that. The secondary goal is to find that fifth guy in the rotation long term, or even just back of the rotation guys long term, more than just 2024 through 2025, because we know about all the question marks at the top end of the rotation. But it has more to do with preserving the free, the sales, the Ronaldo Lopez's for the for the marathon that is the baseball season. So yes, it is very encouraging, but I saw Braves fans talking about, you know, uh, you know, this is the fifth starter, and that may be true, but it doesn't, you know give, you know, I guess it doesn't give Alex Anthopoulos uh, the green flag to just go to a five-man rotation, and I'm not suggesting he is. I'm suggesting Braves fans think it will be. It shouldn't be because, like you said, he hasn't pitched a lot of innings either, let alone the guys at the top that we want to keep fresh for the postseason. Yeah, I mean, I, I listen, if, if it's working, there are questions about six-man rotations. Brian Snicker and Alex Anthopoulos have said in the past that they don't necessarily like them. And I understand because these guys are creatures of habit. You know, Charlie Morton's 40 years old, been pitching for 20 years every single five days. He wants to pitch every five days. Max Fried is the same way. But if it's working and they're pitching well, there's no reason to go against this. And now you do have some stability at the back with Spencer Schwellenbach. You hope Bryce Elder can kind of become that sixth guy or A.J. smith Shaver or Ian Anderson, who we'll talk about in the next block. But you got a lot of options. So, yeah, as, as long as it's working, as long as those top horses are pitching well every single day, they'll go back to a five-man rotation rotation probably closer to the end of the season yeah. because listen that you're gonna like have to get used to postseason baseball where you could be pitching it once every four days as a starter or once every five is so they'll eventually go back but at least right now these middle months where it's hot in june and july maybe even a little bit into august especially before the trade deadline expect them to run the six-man rotation especially if guys like schwellenbach elder aj smith schauber comes back ian anderson potentially comes back they got guys they got options that can give you a chance to win now every single day whether it's five or six days yeah swallenbach has really had some really encouraging stuff the fifth is a whole run lower uh than the era which kind of goes back to your point about the adam duvall error that kind of turned a single into a triple uh he did limit the damage there um but all signs point to Swellenbach carving out. I mean, it's been four starts. Let's not crown him, you know, the next the next guy. But everything you've seen, you know, it's just instances. It's flashes. It's the stuff. It's the poise that you keep talking about. He keeps turning in good outings. And even when they're bad outings or they're bad moments in a good outing, they're still, you know, um, you know, brush it off your shoulder, poise, all those good things that you like to see. I'm not afraid to kind of just dub it, you know, this guy's going to be a staple as long as, you know, injuries persist. I, I, I'm, I mean, this guy, or don't persist, excuse <laughs> yeah. me. I'm ready you to wish, say it. I, 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 injuries I, don't, the breaks. I don't mind being early. I really don't. This guy's got, every time I see him, I'm impressed. Every single time, even in the bad moments, I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think you're early here. You might actually be late. Yeah, maybe. I think most people are waking up today after what we saw yesterday, and especially after what we saw against the Orioles and even those two outings, because yes, the outside of the Red Sox one, I mean, he really is he has three out of four starts that I would consider, especially for a rookie, were high quality MLB looking starts. And Frankly, the fifth spot in your rotation isn't going to be the isn't going to be your ace. You're looking for a guy that can give you five innings, a two run ball, or six innings, a three run ball, whatever it is. If he does that every single five days, that's so much better than what the Braves have been getting. So yeah, I agree, Spencer Schwellenbach. Congratulations, you're our fifth starter at least. <laughs>